Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. So today we're doing Valada. Guess what I got? I started to open it like always. Um, silly me, I was so excited. And you know how I love to open the boxes with you on camera. I goofed. Um, I cut it open, but I did not take the stuff out. So we will reveal the inside of the box together. Okay? So here we go. Um, do you know what's in here? Because I do. There's a lot of paper in here. Does that count? A lot of paper in here. <laughs> Kidoki smoky. <laughs> oh, I thought that was on back order. Too cool. All right, so the first thing that I ordered was um, a Fiesta queso cheese dip. Um, I'm gonna you. I think I'm gonna do some chicken quesadillas with this. Oops, this cheese. Um, these are eight ounce tubs. And this cheese is amazing. It's a little too thick for the fondue, which is what they originally had thought that they would use this for. Um, but it's excellent dip, like for cheese, um, cheese, for crackers, like a cheese spread. Um, but it's great to cook with. So if you want to use an ingredient of cheese in your recipe, then you want to get our cheese because it's really, really, really good. All right, so this is eight ounces of Fiesta Queso cheese dip. I also bought our ceramic peeler. Um, this is ceramic. <laughs> Go figure. I'm being awfully creative today with my descriptions, aren't I? Um, pretty. Ex this is mine, so I'm going to open it. Uh, oh, I like the easy opening. Thank you, Valada, for doing that. If you have our knives or if, oh, it's the same thing. Um, if you purchased our knives or if you saw me do the demo of the knives on here on YouTube, um, it has that same, it's almost like a crushed velvet uh, feel to it. And um, this is ceramic. So there is no, how does it do that? It is, it's a ceramic blade, but um, it's the same blade as on our knives so this rust proof rust proof um, and if it breaks if it chips it's replaceable um, so I'm really excited to use this peeler because I think it's going to be a very nice peeler so the blade is up top right there I'm not going to touch I don't want to break I don't want to cut myself um, with the guard and then I'm not 100% sure what these are. If you know, let me know, because you know I am not a cook. Um, but there's a nice little thumb rest in there. See the indentation? So it's going to be awesome for peeling potatoes. That's what I bought it for, was to peel potatoes. All right, so what else do I got here? Whew, big, big box. Big box. A big bag of yumalicious stuff. Okay, so I went ahead and bought the milk chocolate meltables, the confectionery wafers. And I also got the vanilla flavor. Um, if you're following me on Facebook, then you're going to see some of these recipes that I have been putting um, on my site. Um, I thought UPS was here, but they're not. Um, there are some amazing, amazing, amazing recipes using the meltables, um, using the cheese that you can use or you can find on my website. So if you go to edn.velada.us, which now is cook and create, so C-O-O-K-N-C-R-E-A-T-E dot net. So like beauty and sense, cook and create dot net. Um, and you can find all the recipes by clicking on the recipe button. But I'm going to be using these for some of my holiday stuff that I do for little treats. Um, so I'm really anxious to try this. They're saying that it's the flavor is amazing, that it's extremely, extremely good. Um, 
Now you can also use the other chocolates, right? Uh, there's milk chocolate, caramel milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and white chocolate. You can use those as well for your decorating and um, recipe pleasure. Now, this. I bought one, two. These are bigger bags than I thought. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> six crepe mixes. Um, this is French style crepes. They are the classic mix. It is 21.5 ounces. 610 grams, um, but this is the mix to use with the crepe makers. Um, and all it needs is one and a half cups mix with one cup very hot water and three large eggs. So you put this with your eggs and your water in the bowl, you mix her up and you got yourself some amazing crepes. Now Edie, what on earth are you going to make your crepes, crepes on? You ask? Let me show you. I bought two. Because I just didn't think I'd have enough of one. <laughs> so, this is the crepe maker. It's not a very big box. Because it's not a very big unit. Yay! Oh, loverly. Loverly, loverly. Okay. So, oh, and you know what? Let me show you real quick the ingredients, because I know a lot of you are concerned about ingredients and that sort of thing. Um, I know for a fact, I'm pretty sure that I heard somewhere that this is not, it contains wheat and milk, may contain traces of egg, soy, peanuts, and tr tree, tree nuts, so it is not gluten-free. Um, the ingredients are all-purpose flour, low-fat milk alternative, butter powder, sugar, and kosher salt. So there's not really a lot of stuff in it. Um, and you can see by, you know, what the size, serving size is. And um, so I just thought I'd give you a quick overview of the ingredients and the nutritional facts. You know, because that's important stuff. Okay, so... It comes with instructions, which is a really good thing, but from what I've seen, it's not hard to do at all. Then you get da, 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 the crepe maker. The crepe maker. Oh, it's very light. Oh, I love that it's so light. <laughs> Just so loving. Love, 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 love. Okay, so this part is the part that plugs into the wall. It's the base for the crepe, this is really, really light, you guys. Um, this actually feels like as heavy as a lid to a bowl. Um, so this is the um, thing that you put the crepe maker on and plug it in. This is the crepe maker, and this is all it is. You know that I was so surprised when I um, this is pretty sturdy. Um, when I saw how these were made. So this is about, you know what, I want to say six inches in diameter. I think this is about six inches in diameter. And that's the, you know, Teflon nonstick coating. Um, you know, really the heaviest part is this part up top. Um, everything else is just, a, you know, it's a heavy duty plastic, but it's not very heavy at all. You have the on off switch right here and then it just places down on the base so that it can heat up and cook your crepe but when you take it off there's no more electricity to it and that's awesome 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 okay so that is if you see me pushing it's because i'm such a touchy feely person when i get new stuff i always want to check it out like in depth <laughs> Um, all right, so now this is something that I was surprised to know that was included. So you get a whisk, if I can get it out of there. 
Who's all the papers? This is, oh, it's rubber. Oh, I likey, likey, likey. Okay, so you get a rubber whisk. This, however, is not rubber. It says Velada on it. Let's see? So you get a nice, nice good size rubber whisk that comes with it so you can mix up your crepe mix. And then you get yourself a spatula. <laughs> this is just a plastic spatula. And from what I have been watching, since I've not used this yet, but I've been watching and doing a lot of training. When the crepe is setting there, um, they teach you to go around real quick and just lift up the edges that spill over. And then that way it just comes right off. Plastic spatula. Then you also get a dish for dipping. Your dipping dish. What is it called? What do they call it? To avoid danger of suffocation. Yeah, that's not what that is. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's a dipping, dipping dish. Um, so it's the indented part on the bottom of the dish is the same size. It's, a, it's a, actually it's probably about six or seven inches in diameter. It's a little bit bigger. No, it's about the same. The top is bigger. Um, but you are supposed to make your make your crepe mix in a bowl and then pour some into the dipping dish. And then when you're ready, you dip in place. Dip in place. Turn it on and you've got some crepes. <laughs> You know what, guys? I am really, really excited to try this. Um, I'm not a cook. You guys know this. I've tried. I am certainly nowhere near a creative cook. However, I love crepes. I love everything about crepes. Um, and I bought some Nutella the other day, and I have some bananas, and that's my favorite. Um, and... I have been watching all kinds of, you know what, most of the time that I've had a crepe, for the most part, it's always been in a dessert mode, except for um, I've had gyros in crepes. So they do have gyros in like a flatbread, um, but I've also had gyros in crepes. Now, they're usually fork um, necessary because they kind of, they're thinner than a flatbread. Um, so when you stuff them a lot, you're going to need to have it on a plate, but that's fine with me. I'm okay with that. <laughs> so I am going to get going on using these and I'm going to hopefully do some videos for you guys to show you some of the different things that you can do. Now, if you go to recipes tab on cookandcreate.net, you will find some recipes on there. I also did a video on YouTube here with different ideas through pictures. Um, so look for the Velada Crepe Escape um, and you'll see some options there as well. So pretty excited to get started with this. Um, you know why I bought two? This is so easy for kids to use that I really thought it would be cool um, to be able to get everybody involved with making crepes. So, you know, if I've got two, then people aren't waiting as long to make their crepe. Yay. <laughs> all right, everyone. I will see you all on the next video. Go and have an amazing day. Better yet, go make it an amazing day. This would make a superb gift. Now, if you're still at the end of this video and you're still watching, um, you can order these right now for our January delivery. So that's how much in demand they are. So if you want it delivered in January, then you need to order it now. If you order it in January, you're going to be waiting a lot longer. So just FYI, make it an amazing day for somebody else by ordering them a crepe maker that they will get in January. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.